So what I would say is, uh, okay, I uh, I was able to speak to um, some high school kids recently, and I asked them a question. And I asked them, who thinks boxing is broken? It's a very loaded question, obviously. I was just trying to see what kind of response that I would get. And basically every kid raised their hand. Not everyone, but basically every kid raised their hand. And then I said, would you change your view of boxing if I told you that it, you're right that it was broken, but that it was actually broken on purpose with the intent to save it? And uh, they didn't quite know what to make of it, but that's really what has happened with boxing. I... I, I um, I'll come back to your question. It's all, it's all related. Just let me get there. The, the reason I bring that up is because you had monopolistic concerns and other forms of corruption in the late 1940s, early 1950s, and then all the way up to the 80s and 90s, certainly, before the Muhammad Ali Boxing Reform Act got fully extended, um, that required people to care enough to put some guardrails in place. That did actually break the sport in a way that I do think limits uh, not individual bouts, obviously, but um, it limits how popular it can actually be. It does, it does make all of the titles, makes it harder to understand. All of the different promoters makes it harder to follow than some more uniform places. But at the same time, and having done that, I know it seems this is crazy to say, but if you're asking which, which market is more equitable, the boxing market or the MMA market, it's not a contest. Boxing is vastly more equitable, vastly fairer uh, in terms of power sharing. It's a, it's not even it's not even close. And so the point I would say is, listen, down to individualistic moralizing, I don't know what kind of impact you can have. I'm really not ready to punt on the idea that like it's wrong to ask people like you know I, it's 2024. How the fuck are we relitigating whether or not we should treat gay people with humanity? I don't know. I don't know what you can really do about that. But I'm not really ready to punt on that. But as a separate question, that's that's one kind of issue. You're asking about actually affecting change. You can affect change, actually. And um, it has to be broader. And I think it has to be the kind of thing where you're bringing in the force of law to do it. So I guess the answer to the question would be, to the extent this is actually something that the law, some kind, either the, 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 the justice system or whatever, the legislative system, whether it's the Muhammad Ali Boxing Reform Act, these kinds of things can actually introduce equitability. They can introduce fairness. They actually can introduce a better world insofar as those things are concerned. In terms of the actual culture, what I would say is, you know, the sport has taken a bizarre turn over the last few years. It, to me, it's entirely related to Dana White's personal transformation. And even that I'm not really bagging on. Like people, it's not for me, I wouldn't follow the same one, but the point I want to make is it's this is why it's all related. People don't understand. If he took that turn and was just another matchroom boxing in in the boxing world, right? It, that would have some effect, but it wouldn't have this vast effect on the industry. But because there is one dominant firm, they own 90% plus of the world's elite talent. And then in terms of the real, the really elite talent, they own basically 100% of it or pretty close to it. And they of, of, of every dollar made in MMA, the UFC makes 90 cents of it. It is such a dominant factor that it actually ends up changing the culture. I think if you had different parties jockeying for power that was that either the legislative or the justice system made possible, then what you would actually get is not having one hegemonic figure defining the terms of everything, culture, business, you name it. Uh, that to me would make it actually more equitable or different or, you know, certainly different perspectives um, all the way around. In which case, it's like if one person wants to go this direction, they can. If another person wants to go that direction, they can. What we have now in MMA is just one firm, one president, top down, defining everything. And, and it, this is what you're seeing, I think, as a consequence.